Germany's foreign minister has been hosting her Chinese counterpart on his inaugural visit to Berlin. Now, their meeting comes ahead of a key summit with the leaders of Germany and China in June. With the war in Ukraine on the agenda, China's foreign minister, Qin Gang, said Beijing wanted to communicate with all parties to seek a peaceful end to the conflict. Germany's foreign minister, Annalena Baerbock, stated that Be Beijing could play a decisive role in ending the war as a permanent member of the UN Security Council. Baerbock accused Russia's president of making a mockery of today's Victory Day celebrations that are marking the fall of Nazi Germany. Nowadays, everywhere in Europe, we are celebrating the victory over Nazi Germany. And Putin is using this memory, this commemoration for other messages of hatred, commemoration of all the sacrifices made to gain victory. This is all made invalid by Putin because he is still waging war on Ukraine. He shells even international Red Cross camps and places where civilians live. We are going to talk about the Russia, Russian war of aggression. China is a permanent member of the Security Council of the United Nations, and therefore China can play an important role to end this war if China so decides. And I'm joined now by DW's chief international editor, Richard Walker, for more on this. Richard, Annalena Baerbock said China can play a decisive role in ending the war in Ukraine if it chooses to. Can you tell us what was the Chinese response to that? Yeah, well, there, there was a question, uh, Anya, to Qinggang, to, to the Chinese foreign minister, exactly about this, sort of saying, you know, China came up with this 12-point position paper earlier in the year. I'm sure viewers will remember this, uh, talking about China's view of how to end the war. Um, and Qinggang did go into some detail of, of the steps that he says that China's since been taking. He said that Xi Jinping talked at length with Vladimir Putin in Moscow about this, that he's made a phone call with Volodymyr Zelensky, with the Ukrainian president, um, and uh, that an envoy will be uh, on uh, on the job uh, soon. But it's interesting to kind of tease out the implicit criticism of Europe and the wider West in a lot of what the Chinese are saying um, and the dilemmas that China's position and China's moves here are quite likely to put the West in. Because Qin Gang said, for instance, that China will behave as a responsible power and will not pour oil on the fire, which is code for sending weapons to either side. Now, the, the West, of course, the Europeans, the Americans have been providing Ukraine with a large amount of weapons, weapons without which Ukraine would probably have had no chance of defending its territory. Uh, so on, on there, they're implicitly criticising the West for sending those weapons. Uh, and then also by calling for negotiations, by calling for a ceasefire, China is potentially putting the West in a situation where it says, no, we shouldn't have a ceasefire yet. No, we shouldn't have talks yet. Um, and that, of course, is potentially communications wise with the rest of the world, an awkward position for the West to be in. And Alina Baerbock trying to push back on that, though, by saying that the onus on, is on Putin to end this war because he invaded Ukraine. He could end it all in a moment if he just withdrew. Richard, just briefly, can you give us a sense of the mood between the two? Because at their last press conference in Beijing, they didn't really see eye to eye, did they? <laughs> They really didn't. I mean, that was really quite striking. The last press conference, it became almost like a debate between the two sides. One would say uh, one thing which the other didn't like and the other would then chime in afterwards, something you don't often see in this sort of press conference situation. That didn't happen this time, but you did really see just how far apart the two sides are. And just there's the same kind of arguments you're often getting from the Chinese side at the moment a lot of them veil criticisms of the United States, talking about the world kind of moving into a Cold War situation, with the United States implicitly moving towards block confrontation. China wants the Europeans not to go as far in standing up to China as the Americans are currently doing. That's really what this is all about. And part of it is trying to sort of out, do outreach and say we'll help try to end the Ukraine war. But some of it is pretty stern warnings that if you go down that road, there'll be a price to pay. Richard, thanks so much for that. That's DW's chief international editor, Richard Walker.